Hello, my name is Marcello. Welcome to the Source AV Design Group's YouTube channel. Today we will look at the new Yamaha HAL7A flagship headphone amplifier with built-in DAC and pre-amplifier from our friends at Yamaha. This video will primarily discuss my impressions of this pre-production unit regarding build quality, design, and sound quality. If you saw our Yamaha YH5000 SE flagship headphone video, you know that I'm very fond of the headphones and ended up selling another flagship pair of headphones to buy them for myself. After spending much more time with my pair, I discovered some additional insights about them, such as they need about 80 to 100 hours of burn-in before they sound optimal. Yamaha recommends at least 40 hours of burn-in to allow the driver connection point components to loosen and enable the driver to move in and out more freely. They are highly transparent revealing headphones, so bad recordings will be very audible, so system matching is critical to getting the sound right for my preferences. I also found that they perform better when given ample current, tightening the bass regions and smoothing the treble regions. The headphones also take moderate EQ through Rune quite well, so they are adaptable if the sound signature isn't perfect for your listening preferences. Bouncing back and forth between the suede and leather pads offers two distinct listening experiences. With more neutral to brighter sounding audio chains, I tend to gravitate towards the suede ear pads, which give you a warmer, smoother sounding listening experience, versus when listening on neutral to warm sounding tube amplifier audio chains, I have been gravitating towards the more analytical sounding perforated synthetic leather pads, which provide better soundstage reproduction, speed, and a tighter bass signature. So how does the new Yamaha HAL7A sound when paired with a YH5000SE? In a word, synergistic. Yamaha's implementation of the floating balance power amplifier technology, the ESS ES9038 Pro DAC, and the bifolar winded designated toroidal transformers for front stage processing and second stage amplification all come together with the sound signature of the YH5000SE headphones to create an immersive, beautiful listening experience. Let's dig into the features of the headphone amplifier a bit more first before we talk more about the sound. According to Yamaha, the HAL7A uses four sets of power amplifier circuits on the plus and minus sides of the left and right channels of the output stage, which are floated from the ground, resulting in symmetrical push-pull orientation of the output stage. Doing this allows the headphones to be driven without altering the amp's configuration between balanced and unbalanced, which helps minimize sound quality discrepancies between the output terminals. In addition, the power output is the same on all three headphone outputs, so whether you are listening to the 4-pin XLR output, the 4.4 balance Pentacon, or the single and quarter inch headphone output, you are receiving 1000 milliwatts at 32 ohms. This power output will be suitable for most reasonably efficient headphones, but will not allow harder to drive headphones to stretch their legs and hit their stride. You will want to consider this if you are looking for an amplifier that can drive all headphones effectively. The HAL7A will not be the best choice in this regard. In addition to that, Yamaha recommends headphones that are 32 to 600 ohms for optimal performance. Let's look at the specifications provided by Yamaha for the HAL7A before taking a closer look at the top and back of the amp. I really enjoy the pairing and implementation of the ES9038 Pro 32-bit DA converter with the amplifier and the way it complements the YH5000SE from a sound perspective. Most of my sound impressions of the YH5000SE headphones were previously formed with my cord DACs before hearing the HAL7A. These cord headphone amplifiers and DACs have a more detailed and analytical forward type of sound signature, which can be too much of a good thing at times for my preferences when pairing the revealing sound of the Yamaha headphones with the house sound of Filter 1 and 2 of the TT2 and Hugo 2 headphone amplifiers and DACs. The HAL7A uses the 9038 Pro chip capable of PCM 384kHz 32-bit and DSD 11.2 with a dedicated master clock which uses a crystal oscillator with ultra-low phase noise to attain the precise DA conversion. Featuring an 8-channel DA converter housed in the chip which applies 4-channel conversion to the left and right sides, Yamaha states this helps to deliver a broad dynamic range and superb signal-to-noise ratio. From an audible perspective, I find the discrete and balanced circuitry implementation of the DAC, along with the independent dual toroidal transformers of the headphone amplifier, to be less revealing of harsh flaws in recordings, while still presenting superb detail and clarity, creating in my listening experience a delightful quality of sound free from fatigue when paired with a YH5000SE, compared to my more analytical sounding Core TT2 and Hugo 2. 
The industrial and heavy duty construction and design of the HA L7A are remarkable from a look and feel perspective and help eliminate audible impacts from internal and external vibration. The L-shaped top surface places the toroidal transformers above the power supply and away from the amplification section of the amplifier. The transformers are mounted onto a 2mm steel plate with beautiful housing around them, which is both superb to look at and suppresses any transformer vibration or hum from entering the audio path, allowing for quiet operation. The HA L7A offers lots of flexibility in sound reproduction and control of the amplifier and DAC using its easy to use menu system, included remote and OLED display. The physical rotary dials for volume and sound field selection have superb feedback and feel elegant while achieving their primary goals. Pure direct mode bypasses all circuitry not present in the original input source, such as DSP. This mode will let you hear your headphone sound signature without alteration. Pure direct mode is my favorite listening mode when paired with my Yamaha YH5000SE headphones. When turning off the pure direct mode, you can adjust how the DAC processes the sound by choosing from eight different modes. One of my favorite modes for the DAC is the hybrid fast filter. Turning off the pure direct mode allows the listener to utilize Yamaha's six sound field modes, cinema, drama, background music, concert hall, outdoor live, and music video. Depending on the headphones you are listening to, the type of music, or the movie you may be watching, you will want to experiment with each one of the sound field modes to find your favorite listening modes with your headphones for your preferences. So along with the eight DAC filters, the six sound field modes, or for a pure listening experience with a pure direct mode, the HA L7A offers an immense amount of customization for your preferences when listening. I enjoyed the concert hall sound field when paired with the YH5000SE creating an opera house style soundstage that is quite impressive when paired with well recorded music. On the back of the amp there are 3 pin XLR outputs along with a set of RCA outputs for the preamplifier. For inputs the HA L7A offers a set of analog RCA inputs, optical, digital coaxial, and a USB allowing for the highest performance of the internal DAC. The HA L7A's visual design, size, shape, and reasonable weight of 11.7 pounds make it ideal for desktop use or use in a component rack. There isn't much not to love about the amplifier, especially for YH5000SE headphone owners. The amplifier, internal DAC, and headphones give you a synergistic sounding system that allows for so much customization and sound with both the headphones ability to swap pads and the different DAC filters and Yamaha sound fields, you can switch up your listening experience without having to own several other pairs of headphones. As I stated, the HA L7A is a pre-production unit, so there may be some subtle changes with the sound field implementations for final production, but as is, I am very impressed with what Yamaha has been able to achieve with their flagship headphones and now headphone amplifier. When released, the HA L7A will retail for $3,999.95, which should be late 2023. I am thrilled Yamaha has decided to re-enter the headphone world in a significant way. Is the HA L7A perfect? No product is perfect. I would have liked to see the inclusion of XLR balance inputs, a larger color display, and more power output for use with harder to drive and lower impedance headphones. Including these features would have likely driven the price even higher. For use with the Yamaha YH5000SE, I think Yamaha did a tremendous job and I could happily own both and never want for more unless I wanted to implement tube amplification into my listening experience, which is still my favorite form of amplification for the YH5000SE headphones for my preferences. Of course, we always recommend listening to the amplifier with the headphones you own or plan on owning to ensure you enjoy the sound pairing. If you're in SoCal, stop by our 10,000 square foot showroom, hang out with us, and have a listen. If you're interested in trading up your old headphones, amplifiers, or other gently used audio gear for a new set of headphones or a new amplifier, check out the links in the video description to our trade up program, and don't forget, we will price match other authorized dealers. We have some cool videos coming this year with new product announcements, so please consider subscribing to our channel today. From $150 earphones to multi-million dollar home audio, cinema, and automation systems, TSAV is a hi-fi enthusiast paradise for building the system of your dreams. So let's start the conversations in the video comments on what you think of the Yamaha HA L7A headphone amplifier and DAC. While you're there, smash that like button for us. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.